How's it going, my fellow collectors? This is Link's Reviews, and I am Link, and today we have some Wonder Woman 80th Anniversary Funko Pops, including number 280, which is the Pop Rides, Wonder Woman on a Pegasus, we got number 504 and 506, Odyssey and a Twist of Fate of Wonder Woman. These are going to be some awesome pops, so let's get them open, shall we? So as I said, we have some Wonder Woman 80th Anniversary Funko Pops. To start it off, we're doing some Pop Rides number 280, Wonder Woman on a Pegasus. Now this looks absolutely amazing. Check it out. I love that it gives you all the past 80th Anniversary Funko Pops. Super cool. I think I have literally all of these, including an entertainment exclusive one. But I know that there's more. Let's get this one open, shall we? Now, it's always a bit tricky knowing if this is going to be a bottom one or a top one on how to get it open, as I would say. So I think this one is going to be a top one. I can get it out. Jeez. absolutely amazing. The, the horse looks, or the Pegasus looks hilarious. It almost reminds me of Blackjack from Percy Jackson books. Looks super cool. Also, also the Pegasus almost looks like he's got like a concentrated or angry look. And we have her on a dynamic base as well, so she looks absolutely amazing with the Pegasus. Just looks amazing. She's got a spear, although... It was bent. Now it's... Oh, that's a bit unfortunate. The spear is a bit bent. You can play with it as much as you want. You might be able to fix it. I think I have. But she looks absolutely amazing. She's got a spear. Riding a Pegasus. About ready to strike down her foes. And she looks fantastic. Absolutely amazing. Let's give it a close-up and see the finer details. She's in her classic regalia. Or classic costume. Pegasus looks absolutely amazing. The detail's fantastic. She's got the lasso of Hestia. Looks absolutely amazing. Her hair is in excellent detail. The paint is in good detail. All in all, a fantastic pop. Looks fantastic. You might just have to play with the spear a little bit when you get this one, or if you've already had it, you've probably already experienced it. But she looks amazing. 10 out of 10 for this one. Super glad I was able to get it. I've actually had this one and these other ones for a while. I was just waiting uh, for a, a, a chance to review them. But now on to the next one, which is number five on, or 405. Which is Wonder Woman Odyssey. Now this is a much more unique and modern look of Wonder Woman. I mean, she's got pants. She looks absolutely amazing. She almost looks like um, Donna Troy as Wonder Woman. Because um, she's got pants. At least when she's Wonder Girl. I mean, in the more modern comics. In the past, she had a skirt as well. But looks absolutely amazing. Let's get it open, shall we? She's got the lasso of truth splayed out, ready to lasso someone, make them compel some truths, reveal some lies. Looks absolutely amazing. Comes with a base, which is absolutely fantastic. Check her out. Super cool. I love the modern look. I think her and Storm probably have, like, the most costume changes out of almost any superhero. Storm has so many. Um, Wonder Woman has so many different sets of costumes, just as Storm. I swear that they probably have the most. Prove me wrong, I would love to actually be proven wrong. I would love to know a superhero or villain that has more costumes 
than Wonder Woman and Storm, because they are constantly changing. Super cool, though. Although, you can't count Iron Man. Iron Man just has a different suit for everything. Can't count him. Super cool, though. Check out the finer details. Looks absolutely amazing. There is, though, a slight dent, maybe, or dimple on her face. I don't know if that's purposeful or not, but we're not going to count it as, because I'm not sure. But she looks absolutely fantastic. I love the gold. It's like a really rich, deep gold. Like, it looks absolutely amazing. I don't see any paint bleed or dimpling besides that one mark. I don't see any paint transfer. She looks absolutely amazing, so another 10 out of 10. Or 9.5 out of 10 if that dimple wasn't purposefully. Alright, now for our final pop of the day, which is number 406, which is Wonder Woman, A Twist of Fate. Now, one thing I should say. I can't remember if I reviewed a couple of these, like that one or this one. I know I didn't review the pop rides. I tried looking at my past videos, and I just wasn't for sure. I got a terrible memory, but it looks absolutely amazing. I love the Twist of Fate look. Completely different costume, almost. It's like a combination of Wonder Girls and the new DC-52 Wonder Woman and also the classic. It just looks like an amalgamation of so many things. It looks absolutely amazing. Super cool. Let's get it open, shall we? the deep richest of the gold. I love the gold that they always choose for Wonder Woman. It's so unique. It's such a deep gold. Man, she's got like spear uh, uh, arm guards on. That's awesome. Ooh, that just went on that base really nice. She just looks absolutely amazing. Check her out. I mean, even the detail on her uh, breastplate is like detailed you can see the different like textures in it it looks absolutely amazing super cool the lasso as well always got to have the lasso when you're woman wonder woman absolutely fantastic love the boots love the armor just looks absolutely amazing i love how the stars are on the sides of her breastplate it looks absolutely amazing i don't see any paint bleed any scratches, any paint transfers, any dimples. She looks great. Don't see any paint globbing as well. Absolutely fantastic. A 10 out of 10, if I do say so myself. Whoops. Let me know in the comments down below if you like this video or if you want to see more like videos like this. Um, I'd love to talk to you about Wonder Woman as well. Give me your thoughts. You can also check out my Twitter where I per post uh, sneak peeks one to two days beforehand. It's also the best way to know when I post. And also, I really want you guys to share this video and subscribe because we are trying to do a giveaway at 500 subscribers before the end of the year because that is the goal. 500 subs. We're at 421. I know we can do it before the end of the year. So help us out. Help me out. Help yourself out for the potential chance of giving, winning the giveaway, which is two Marvel Blacklight Special Edition Funko Pops and potentially a second person could win a Mandalorian Season 2 Child with Cup Baby Grota a baby Grogu or Grogu or Baby Yoda, depending on what you want to call them. So yeah, that's it for this video, guys. As always, my fellow collectors, have a nice day and peace out.